In 1998, Silver Cross Hospital began periodically recognizing the accomplishments of outstanding individuals for their service to the community with the Silver Cross Sangmeister Medal of Excellence. Named after former U.S. Congressman George E. Sangmeister, the medal is awarded to a leading citizen for competence, service, and dedication in a field other than healthcare that contributes to the common good of society. The 2006 Silver Cross Sangmeister Medal of Excellence recipient is J.D. Ross. For the past 40 years, J.D. Ross has dedicated his life to education and community service. He spent almost 32 years at Julia Junior College, where he held many positions, including being one of the college's most admired presidents. During his time, he implemented programs to attract more diversified students. And he led the college to provide more technical career programs for an increasing student body population. His fondest memories are the times he spent getting to know the students. He was always inspired by their enthusiasm for learning. J.D., uh, he loves uh, young people. Uh, he loves uh, mentoring folks. He loves helping. Born in Moline, Illinois, J.D. was guided by parents who believed in getting an education and giving back to the community. His mother often volunteered to walk the neighborhood to distribute flyers about new programs that would help local families. Then, when J.D. was 14 years old, his father passed away. Through the guidance of his mother, the family persevered, even during the terrible Mississippi River flood of 1965 when the family's home was damaged. They survived with the support of each other and the community. J.D. has never forgotten this crucial help his family received. Due to this experience, he believes it is our responsibility to help those who are in great need. J.D. attended Blackhawk College and received a Bachelor of Arts degree from St. Ambrose University and a Master of Science degree in Education Administration from Western Illinois University. He was honored by Lewis University with a Doctorate of Humanities. Currently, J.D. resides in Joliet with his wife, Helen, of 34 years, where they raised their family. During his career, J.D. continued to give back to the community as a community leader. He has served as a board member for both the Joliet Area Historical Museum and the Joliet Area Historical Society. He is past campaign chairman and past chairman of the Will County United Way. He is an active member of the Joliet Kiwanis Club. And you know when he gets involved in an organization, you're going to get well over 100% of his involvement and commitment. And he's got to believe in the mission of the organization and will roll up his sleeves and do what's necessary uh, to make sure that the organization stays on track with its mission and do what, it, what he can to contribute on a personal level and try to get others too to participate and join him in that effort. Even in retirement, J.D. is committed to helping the community as executive director of the Will Grundy Medical Clinic, working with physicians, dentists, nurses, and staff who volunteer their time to provide free medical care to area residents. He is an asset to enhancing the services offered at the clinic and in the community. Um, I think my dad's passion for education and giving back to the community are probably two foundations that were really central to how he raised uh, my brother and myself, and, and my mom was a part of that as well. Um, my dad just feels education is, is critical, and so we were always taught at home that we needed to do well in school, that it was important to not just do well in school for the sake of getting good grades, but to really develop a passion for learning. Um, that it was important to learn about your community and your world so that you could then become a, a better citizen. Um, and that ties into giving back to the community, which is something my dad not only talked about, but I saw him do um, from a very early age. So, and I would participate with him. I mean, some of my earliest memories are helping my dad on Kiwanis Peanut Day. And I just thought it was fun. Um, you know, I didn't understand the service component until I got to be a little bit older myself and started getting engaged in community service. Um, but those are, those are two things that are incredibly important to my dad and that he really instilled. Uh, in both my brother and myself. And to you know, be out in the community with him and see the reaction of others to him just makes me you know, love him even more that I have. You know, J.D. Ross is my dad. It's just really fantastic. When you think of J.D. Ross, you think of an individual who displays a great deal of calmness and confidence. 
Organizations like Silver Cross and the Joliet Junior College are like families. We have our highs and we have our lows. But during the presidency of J.D. Ross at the Joliet Junior College, he was able to make it rise to a much higher level. And that, of course, is appreciated by the citizens of Joliet, Will County, the student body, and the faculty. He did a tremendous job, and we're pleased to have him here this evening. J.D. Ross is certainly a pioneer in the field of education and community outreach. A well-educated individual with a deep appreciation for helping others. He exemplifies the same value of caring service that is the foundation of Silver Cross Hospital's tradition. For this, the Silver Cross Board of Directors proudly bestows upon J.D. Ross the 2006 Silver Cross Sangmeister Medal of Excellence.